Um, a lot of uh, uh, initiatives have been taken now uh, at the state level to promote industries and uh, specifically IT. Uh, FinTech is, a, is, a, uh, is one of the um, uh, focus uh, areas as far as um, uh, technology companies are concerned. Um, good thing about Andhra is that we are, we are best out with uh, some of the uh, largest te technology talent available in the country, close to about 6 lakh. Uh, graduates come out of uh, colleges and universities every, every year. Um, as all of you are aware, um, AP is the first fully digital uh, state from a government standpoint. All the departments are digitized, uh, fully digitized, not just digitized. We are number one in the ease of doing business as of last year's uh, rankings, uh, number one in uh, ease of living as well and most employable talent available uh, state as well. So a lot of number ones. Uh, and also, because we have all these uh, put in place, um, we have an excellent uh, ecosystem that is there, raw talent available out there. And uh, we felt that you know we should uh, promote uh, fintechs uh, in the state of Andhra Pradesh, apart from all other startups, of course. Um, so we started something called Fintech Valley Vizag in, in Shakpatnam. Um, Shakpatnam is also known as Vizag. So Fintech Valley Vizag is set up um, to create an ecosystem uh, that brings innovation to the core of um, the next generation employment generators. They are not, they are people like us. They are right now studying in colleges and universities. And we want to promote uh, employment generating people and organizations rather than seeking employment elsewhere. So that the, the whole concept of actually uh, pushing uh, or rather creating an environment for students to become, uh, to think about uh, innovation and, and look for ways to create employment rather than seeking employment is, is part of the core of uh, the philosophy that, uh, that we started with. And uh, to create this ecosystem, what we, uh, what we did is uh, we uh, extensively worked with uh, the academia, uh, corporates, technology uh, companies, whether it is product or technology services. Uh, government itself, uh, working very closely with, uh, with um, investors, the mentors, uh, and more importantly, startup uh, organizations, uh, whether they are an early uh, stage startup or, or uh, advanced. So when we uh, looked at all these stakeholders um, uh, that are required to uh, successfully promote uh, FinTech in, in uh, YZAC, um, we kind of created uh, an approach for each of them, for each of the stakeholders in a certain way. And when we looked at academia, uh, we said that, you know, the philosophy is um, start early, uh, basically ensure that these colleges and universities are promoting innovation and uh, trying to create a, um, a platform for people to share ideas, um, run hackathons and get solutions for some of the problems and, uh, you know, encourage people to start their own organization while they are studying. Um, and promote that uh, to ensure that uh, you know, uh, they one day become uh, a successful organization and maybe even unicorns. So you know it all starts uh, in the colleges and universities. That's what we felt, and we are um, working very closely with the with the academia in the state. And uh, we have a, a, a you know database of all the organizations, all the universities, at, um, academic institutions with their student uh, details. Um, we conduct proactively a lot of uh, uh, programs. Uh, we, we take uh, industry uh, biggies to the colleges and universities, um, give guest lectures, um, run hackathons, and, and a lot of other activities. Um, and also, we, en we encourage that the academia is uh, fed with information in terms of what the industry is doing. And based on that, 
the, the curriculum also is customized in such a way that uh, people are studying what the industry is looking for or is, is going to look for in the future, whether it is you know, some of the emerging technologies we can talk of. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, uh, emphasis on, on uh, creating, creating a customized uh, curriculum um, to the students. And, uh, and also, uh, you know, some of the use cases in the financial inclusion, you know, I met uh, somebody from Union Bank, uh, Mr. Panigai. It's an interesting uh, portfolio that he's heading, uh, financial inclusion. Um, that's, that's, again, uh, something that we are, that, that's very close to the, uh, the strategy that we have for the state. And we look at the corporates or the tech firms. Uh, what we expect them to uh, do is, you know, bring some of the use cases, you know, uh, some of the challenges they're facing from a business standpoint, or some of the challenges their customers are facing, uh, and you know, create a sandbox environment out here and, and uh, let let people work on uh, finding the best solution for the for the problem. Uh, and uh, and take it in, uh, take it as a product or you know as a service or whatever. Uh, we're promoting a lot of that with uh, big uh, corporates. Um, and uh, like for example, uh, you know, I can talk about uh, what we have done with uh, ICICI, HSBC, um, then uh, uh, Mahindra Finance. Uh, we've recently started with uh, Franklin Templeton. So a lot of uh, these uh, big corporates are, uh, you know, <coughs> providing information to the um, to the um, uh, startups or you know students um, to work on some of the use cases that they have, they would like to um, have solutions for. And similarly, you know, we we also realize that you know investors are are, are paramount out here. So we, through our interactions with uh, various uh, forums across the globe, uh, we have uh, a set of uh, investors, uh, whether it is venture capitalists or angel investors or uh, high net worth individuals. Uh, one thing we realized is that uh, even within the state, there are a lot of uh, high net worth individuals who are rich people and want to do something for the society, but they don't know how to go about doing it. So we kind of uh, you know, organize events where these individuals are uh, brought together, you know, shared ideas, and uh, let the startups or the uh, individuals uh, present their business idea, and uh, these HNIs uh, can can put in their money to get the solutions uh, for that as well. So a lot of work in that uh, aspect has happened, and we are also um, we also have a lot of international. Uh, um, in uh, high net worth individuals or investors um, who are part of our uh, ecosystem. And they also fund uh, the accelerators and the incubation uh, labs that we are doing. As a state, we also realize that you know we have to form the glue for all these stakeholders to work together. And uh, also ensure that uh, as a state, since we are already fully digital, a lot of uh, you know use cases whether it is from the financial inclusion perspective or uh, from that standpoint. And we also believe that you know, as a state we have uh, the responsibility of creating policy frameworks. You know, uh, The policies have to be forward looking and uh, somebody was mentioning that you know, innovation uh, goes, is always ahead of the uh, policy making. Uh, we do agree but as long as uh, the, the state or the government understands uh, that you know the change is coming, we can proactively work on some of the uh, regulatory frameworks or policies that uh, that needed to be. So in that regard, you know we've got quite a few um, forward-looking uh, policies uh, addressing various uh, facets of uh, industry. And uh, also we realize that you know we have to provide the infrastructure for uh, for this ecosystem to to. Uh, Prosper, and that's what uh, we did in Vizag. Uh, we call it Fintech Valley Vizag. Uh, it's a million uh, square foot uh, building, uh, which is dedicated for uh, startups and uh, fintechs to uh, come together. And, and uh, all the mentors, investors, and all will come regularly and interact with the startups, fund them, uh, you know, uh, prototyping, and then productizing and taking to the market. So a lot of work is happening in that regard. We're working with uh, quite a few industry bodies, international as well as national, uh, in uh, creating the incubation labs, 
accelerators out there. And uh, you know, we also, uh, as a state, we ourselves are funding accelerators and uh, incubation uh, centers uh, apart from the industry bodies. Um, and uh, we're working with uh, some of the states as well as uh, some of the other countries uh, as far as uh, exchange programs are concerned in terms of uh, in both inbound and outbound uh, exchange programs we are conducting. And doing with all this, uh, the last uh, two to three years, we have seen significant growth in the number of startups that are coming into the, uh, the ecosystem in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And, uh, we are uh, looking forward to uh, seeing exponential growth in that space and the state is also uh, very serious about uh, uh, ensuring that the ecosystem is alive and uh, is uh, bringing the right results. With that, uh, I thank all of you for the opportunity given to me.